What's up? My name is Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to import your encoding presets from one version of Adobe Media Encoder to another. Recently, the 2023 version became available, and even though I had my Move Preferences option ticked when I updated Adobe Media Encoder, it didn't actually pull across any of my render presets. If I open up AME, and choose a render preset here. It simply came up with custom as the only option for vocoder. Though of course, if you have any other sort of custom output set up, it may not be showing up at all. All you need to do is close out of AME and open up a new file browser with start and E. Then head across to documents, Adobe, and inside of here, we'll be looking for Adobe Media Encoder. Of course, you'll be choosing the beta if you're using the beta version. Inside of here, you can see I have 22, which is 2022, and 23, which is 2023. These are the two different versions of Adobe Media Encoder. This one was created today as I updated to 2023 today. Simply open up the previous installation, in my case, 22, and look for the presets folder. Inside of here, you'll find all of your custom presets for which you can copy one by one or simply all of them by copying the entire folder with Control C. Then head across to the newer folder here, Control V to paste and replace files if you get that pop up. Then simply opening up Adobe Media Encoder once more, you should see that things are working as per usual. And upon clicking the drop down, you should see your custom presets are back here, wherever you last had them. If you had any custom extensions and things like that, it seems like having that presets option ticked did actually pull them across, as well as some other general settings, but for some reason, it just didn't keep the presets. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.